Mr. Secretary, we've known about the relationship between carbon dioxide and atmospheric warming since before the Second World War. Many people don't realize that. And scientists have been predicting climate change for 50 years. Today, the research is overwhelming and conclusive. I know you share that opinion, yet nothing has been done. The world needs an action plan, Mr. Secretary. Give me three practical steps that we can take to deal with this problem now. Well, uh, the short-termism is the enemy we all face here. It clearly is, and we face it in all facets of life. We face it on Wall Street. We face it in Washington. Uh, all, all kinds of decision making. So, what the, the practical steps that uh, th that I think have come out of the uh, the study we've just released, which is the first. Uh, attempt, and I think it's a very good one, to quantify uh, the risk that climate has to our economy. The steps that come out of that are, are things that I think business needs to do. And this will be a, again, the study is a first attempt uh, to, 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 to deal with this out. So for the first time, we're putting out and we're, we're quantifying the risk, not just the immediate risks and not just the uh, the most reasonable cases but the 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 outside risks the the the, the really perverse outcomes the what, what I would call the tail risks and so the, the things that I think come out of this is first of all uh, investors I think need to demand that businesses make disclosures and make mm -hmm. disclosures about the risks, make disclosures about the their, their carbon emissions, make disclosures about the the risk of stranded assets. Uh, the SEC could do some things in, in, in terms of starting a debate uh, on those things. Uh, secondly, I think business leaders in the U.S. Are, are the best I've ever seen them, and I think U.S. companies are the best managed companies in the world. But U.S. businesses, I think, need to lead on this issue. And because the investments they're making today are really going to have a lot to do with our uh, economic future. And, um, and, and so I think businesses need to do more in terms of investing in resilience. And then I think most importantly, uh, we need a, to take out a national insurance policy. We need the federal government to take action. Uh, right now, businesses and you know city governments are way ahead of the national governments, and so I think businesses need to do a better job of lobbying and pressing the national government to put the kinds of policy in place that will let us avoid the the, the most adverse outcomes.